Hey friends, it's your girl Bree. Um, I'm here to show you how I made this happen with a bald head. Um, currently, I'm not bald though. Uh, I'm gonna like reverse engineer this video, but uh, there was a hat. This, my friends, is what I made, which I'm about to show you. And my hair is still this uh, this big, but it is, or this thick is what I should say. It is going fast. I've got a uh, stage three lymphoma. There's patches kind of everywhere. Just not not cute right now, not really feeling it, but uh, I could still wear this under a hat and be just fine. But when the time does come and I shave it, I wanted an alternative that wasn't gonna be a wig. Um, honestly, I tried one on and it looks cute, but I just want something for like, if I'm going to the grocery store, I don't wanna have to deal with like a whole ordeal. I just wanna throw it on my head and go. And this is the video I've made, enjoy. So the only things that I needed were the extensions, that little headband, a styrofoam head, uh, some like pins for clothes. I didn't have those, so I have map pins from Target because that's all I had and that's the only place I went. And then I have a hot glue gun, get a old one that my mom gave me when I was like six. So nothing fancy over here, fam. But uh, here's what I've done so far. I've taken the headband and I've taken little extensions. These are the singles, there's the quad. There's the triple on this side and I left the front open. Um, so I like put the band on my head first and kind of marked like where my hair does come in if I'm wearing a hat. And all I did was just pin it to those places so that I can get a better look. Um, this is half of the set. So I have the full second half ready to go and I'll kind of show you what I do there as well. Um, but my next step is to hot glue gun these pieces to that headband. The pins are just holding it in place. All right, so as you can see, I have hot glued those tracks to this headband. Um, my extensions have clips on them and a lot of them that come don't. They, they're they just gonna be like pieces of hair and that's probably a lot easier. Like it's just less space between you and the hat. Um, and then the reason I chose to use the athletic headband is so that my head would feel comfortable against it and it wouldn't be like itchy. Like I wouldn't have the tops of the hair attached to my head. Uh, my head's really already sensitive. It feels like a sunburn. So anything to help that process along, I took. Um, also, one more thing is you can go on Amazon and they have like baseball caps or beanies that already have like hair attached to them. My only problem was that when I looked at them, they looked a little like shiny. Like I would look and be like, they're wearing a wig. So um, I just went for real hair and it probably won't look like that. So stay tuned. All right. Here's what happens after that step. So all I did was attach by hot glue that, uh, the rest of the set of extensions. So it goes all the way around that. Yeah, that's like a decent amount of hair. It doesn't look like overly thick. I think on like each side of the shoulder, it's gonna look like a full real head of hair. Um, obviously these extensions are not styled, so I just plugged in a straightener. I'm gonna touch up some curls and potentially even um, cut like the front pieces to make it look like there's face framing layers. And then I'll kind of discover if I need more extensions or not. I do have a, another set, but um, yeah, it's kind of trial and error. And then I'll try it on with some hats and show you guys. All right, it's all curled. I chose to curl it with a straightener because uh, I put away all of my curling irons and my uh, straightener is all I had left. But it, I definitely suggest curling irons if that's what you've got available to you so you don't have to like hold the like root hair while you pull away from it. Uh, you can just kind of wrap it and go. So I just did it loosely and brushed through it, but uh, this is it with the hat on. I was worried for this part back here to be covered and it is just fine. Um, I'm gonna try it on with a beanie and like a fedora next. Here's it with a beanie. I love it. I love, love, love it. Machine Gun Kelly beanie. <laughs> here it is with a short um, fedora. The band you can kind of see in the front. So I'm gonna try it on in person and see if it looks like this too, but I'm gonna try a wide brim one uh, just for, so to show you guys versatility. Lastly, here's a wide brim one. So cute. All right, so this is how that came out. This one, you, if I really have to make sure that these tracks are pushed up, but all in all so far so good. I am gonna take pictures in the morning with makeup on so I don't have like half eyebrows and half lashes and all the fun cancer stuff. So, um, I already think that 
I look a little Amish. That's <laughs> funny. Um, like it's just pretty curly. So I'm probably going to cut these with uh, scissors in a sec just to make them just a little bit more framed. I am not a hairdresser. I used to cut my own bangs, but I don't recommend that to anybody. Anyway, uh, I, don't, I don't really have too much buy-in in these, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to start with like a piece like this and kind of like diagonally do it just so it comes in fully like here and then just make its way down just so it's less severe of like nothing to like ah hair and then I'll try it on with all the other hats I have moved this part of our video to my luxurious bathroom ah uh, anyway I wound up cutting these front pieces just a little bit so they're just a little bit shorter going into the I, don't know, I told you I'm no hairdresser so like a little bit longer uh, just so it didn't look like it was hair uh, just right off the bat. And then I also tucked, I'm obviously not bald just yet, but I tucked the rest of my hair behind me just for this example, just to show you how much hair there is since my hair was a pretty similar color. I also took off my jacket so you guys have a chance to see, is that a lot of hair? Because my jacket's purple, didn't really show that. So the hat I'm most concerned about is the baseball cap because of this back portion. So if it's not covering that, I have another alternative. It would involve a sewing needle and a little bit of thread and just tacking the top of that in place just for the day and just remembering that it's attached uh, just so you can know it's not going anywhere and you don't constantly have to feel right. So here we are. I look honestly like my normal self with long hair. Like I would never even know. <laughs> this is great. This is probably the best solution I've come up with because I have so many hats and I love wearing them, but uh, just never get a chance to. Also, I'm hoping these curls die the heck down soon because they're looking... They just don't look good. Th that kind of looks good, whatever that is, but I don't know. Not a huge fan of that. But um, moment of truth, I'm gonna flip my hair to the back so you guys can see exactly what it looks like from behind, but let's hope it covers that little spot. Wonder if I even got my back, but uh, I'll just post a new video of that. How about that? Great, here we go. So it covers. Um, if I lift just a little bit up, you can see the top of the track. So. Solution would be to like lift up the track just a little bit or I can try that that uh, sewing tack situation all in all Just look pretty good. I'm wondering what like half half in front half behind cuz Still have a bald head underneath it. I don't know but I'm stoked. This seems way more comfortable than um, Just wigs I tried a wig on the other day and it was like itchy and slippy and this just seems soft because like without my hair I still have hair yes, but when I won't have it, the inside of this has got to be so much softer, or like any, really any hat. This could be so much softer than the alternative. Um, I know you can wear a wig cap and stuff, but even look at that. Voila. Nobody would know. Pretty cool. I just said, screw it to the makeup in the morning, and I will just use a filter, because whatever. I'm just going to be sleeping. It was chemo day today, so. Anyway, look how cute it is in a side pony. I, this is like a normal, this is great. And then I, this is primarily the reason why I cut those layers is so I can like take some out of things if I want to put it up or like I don't want it in my face. And yeah, this is what I did. And it covers my port. How cute. 